What's up guys? Welcome back to Melican Fishing. I'm super excited tonight because I have an awesome new product I'm going to share with you guys. I'm blown away by its features. I'm even more blown away by its price and that is this bad boy. It's the Assassin Reel made by Cast King. You know, if you're like me, you're constantly researching the internet for more bang for your buck when it comes to fishing tackle. I got a ton of fishing tackle and the last thing I wanna do is go spend $300 on a reel that I know was probably produced for $20. Doing a little research online, I came across these products by Cast King. And Cast King is a new brand. It's only been around a few years. They've actually won a couple iCast awards, which really made me realize this isn't some Mickey Mouse China factory knockoff cheap reel that you can get anywhere online. This, this thing, these things really could be legit. And full disclaimer, I'm not getting paid by Cast King to make this or anything. I'm just seriously blown away by the features of this reel for this price. I haven't used it yet. We're gonna take it on the water here in a few minutes to try it out on the water. Obviously that's gonna be the most important test, but if it performs as well as the Amazon reviews say, and as well as these features on here would indicate, I'm gonna be switching over to a lot of these Cast King reels because the features are incredible for the price. So let's get into some of those. I'm gonna take you through the features of this reel, which are blowing my mind right now, and then we're gonna go use it on the water, see if it's a piece of garbage or if it's a legit product. So first thing you're gonna notice out of the box, you're gonna take it out and it's crazy, crazy light. This is a 5.7 ounce reel. So this is one of probably the five or six lightest reels on the market. This thing is feather light and the way they do that is with this carbon body. Whole body is made of carbon. The handle is an oversized power handle made of carbon fiber with EVA foam knobs and then this aluminum spool here too. Those are all ways to reduce weight, but a lot of reels feel like plastic light pieces of garbage like they're gonna fall apart. This thing feels rock solid to be completely honest out of the box. And back to that carbon fiber handle, that handle alone after market would cost somewhere between 30 and $50 for a lot of real manufacturers. To be included out of the package from the factory, that's an awesome, awesome feature. These EVA foam knobs have their logo on them too, so it's not like it's just some outsourced, cheap made product. Uh, this is actually their product and their brand. So once you start playing with this thing a little bit, you'll realize it is silky smooth. It comes with 11 ball bearings and one roller bearing. And while that means not a whole lot because more bearings, if they're low quality bearings, uh, are not as good as a lower count of bearings if they're a high quality bearing. This guy feels pretty dang smooth out of the box and only time's gonna tell on these. It says they're upgraded, high quality bearings. I hope they are and it says they're corrosion resistant. So saltwater fishermen, this could be an awesome reel for you as well. I don't fish a lot of salt water. I'm from Nebraska, but I will in the future. Another great feature, most of these super light reels come with like a 10 or 12 pound drag. This guy comes with a 16 pound drag, which isn't super important in bass fishing, but if you're using braid, I notice a lot of times you can make a drag slip if you don't have at least 14, 15 pounds uh, of drag pressure and you never want that drag to slip. So again, aluminum spool, this thing feels awesome. It comes with a dual braking system, which is a great, great feature. So you got the magnetic control on the outside, zero to nine has this cool little lever, which is way easier to take off the side plate than like uns than some of the reels, uh, you have to unscrew it. So you just pop that down, pull it off, and you got your centrifugal brake system as well, zero to six. So that's awesome, great features there. All right, so you've heard the features, you probably guessed in this thing costs somewhere between 200 to $300, because with these features, 5.7 ounces, carbon fiber power handle, centrifugal braking system, 11 bearings plus one roller bearing, 16 pound drag, EVA phone knobs, you probably think it's a high dollar reel. That's what I'm most blown away by and why I'm taking the time to make a video about a reel. This is a $60 reel, $59.98 on Amazon. I'm speechless. If this thing performs as well as the online reviews and these features indicate, this reel and the others by Casking are gonna change the industry. So let's get on the water. I'm gonna spool this thing up with some 15 pound fluorocarbon. I feel like that's a nice middle ground because I wanna throw some weightless baits, some crank baits on it, Texas rigs, jigs, stuff like that. See how it performs with all of them. I'm so stoked. Let's go try this thing on the water, see if it lives up to the hype. Let's see what this assassin does with the old square bill. Pretty dang smooth on that cast. 
That's with the wind though, so we'll see what happens when we get against the grain. Palm's super nice, feels really good. I'm liking it so far. It does cast extremely well. All right, next test, we're gonna throw into the wind with this square bill with the Assassin. That was just silky smooth. This reel palms so nicely. So I got my centrifugal set at three. We're into the wind, and so I'm gonna turn this dial up to about eight on the magnetic and see if we can make her work like that. Man, that is pretty awesome. No backlash in this wind. It's tough to tell right here, but it is freaking ripping today. All right, so we're gonna switch rods. I'm gonna put this on a 7.3 medium heavy, and we're gonna try the Assassin with a weightless Senko to see how it casts a weightless bait. Honestly, super impressed by how it handled the crankbait with and against the wind. Palm's really nice. Feels like a winner so far, to be honest, so hopefully that can keep up. All right, there it is, weightless Senko tied up on the Assassin. Let's see how it performs. I'm gonna let off the brakes a little bit down to like four. See if we can't catch one. Flipping is super smooth. Casting seems super smooth. And missed a fish. There's one. Not the biggest, but I'll take it today. Not bad. Little Cinco fish. All right, water got substantially muddier back here in the back of this creek, so we cut the Cinco off. We're gonna go with the old flipping slash swim jig. Pull it around, see how it feels on this reel. Try to see if we can skip it a little bit too, because that'll be very important with this reel. Uh, this tip for me is to see how it skips. There's a big one. Look at that one on the old swim jig. Choked it. Choke city. Fatty, probably four and a half pounds. Sitting on a bed, big old female. And the reel handled it perfectly. That is a tank on the Assassin, boom. Well, I'm super impressed with how it's performed so far. Cast great with the jig, obviously handled that fish great. Bearings and everything feel silky smooth still. So we are gonna go flip and skip a little bit. And if it can do that, we've covered light crankbaits, weightless baits, skipping baits. I don't know what all else we need to do. I guess uh, throwing a big swim bait on or something, but that's more of a test over time to see if those gears will, will handle up to it. And that's the way it's gonna be with everything with these cheaper reels is to see if the gears and the bearings hold up. So far though, freaking unbelievable reel for the price. Seriously performs like a $250 reel. All right, did great with the crankbait, did great with the weightless Senko. We're gonna try skipping this jig. See if it holds up to skipping. Okay, so there is no loops in the line and that was a perfect skip. So that worked out well for me. See if we can do that again. This rod is actually not perfect. No loops in the reel. Got my bait where I wanted it. Man, that's crazy. This thing seriously has the features of a $250 reel. Then we come out here and cast. Super long cast. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and say I will be getting some more of these guys. I'm gonna pick up a few other rods now and try to catch some fish. I'll come back and forth with this guy, of course. All right, what's up guys? Just got off the water. If you're wondering why I'm completely soaked, it's because there was a 0% chance of rain, so we naturally had a torrential downpour. So it just stopped and uh, 
fish kind of shut down after that. Caught some topwater fish while in the rain, so glad I didn't get that on camera. <laughs> no, sorry this wasn't the most exciting fish catching this video that I've done, but more or less I just wanted to uh, review this Assassin by Cast King. You know, I saw the specs online and the features it had in the reviews, and honestly I was a little bit skeptical of it for the price point it came in at, but it performed flawlessly for everything I tried. You know, small crankbaits, weightless plastics, I could skip with it really well. You know, unless the anti-reverse or the bearings or the gears go out on this thing in the in the future, this, this is an absolute steal for $58. And I can promise you I'll be getting more of these casking reels. Again, I'm not getting paid for this or anything. Just want to try out this reel. I was pretty skeptical of everything. But again, like I said, blown away by his performance. Like I said, this is the Assassin. It's a 6-4 to 1 gear ratio. They also have the Stealth, which is a 7 to 1. And they have another one, the Speed Demon, that's actually the world's fastest reel. It's like a 9-3 to 1. So I'm definitely gonna have to try those. Hopefully I can pick a couple more of those up in the coming weeks here and I'll do a review on those as well if you guys are interested. You know, of course, go down and hit that MF to subscribe to Melican Fishing. I'd really appreciate you taking the time to do that if you wanna check out some more of my videos. I got a very busy week this week. I'm gonna do some pond fishing uh, tomorrow night. Wednesday night I'm fishing a tournament with Andrew Flair. See if old Team Melican and Kitty Shorts can make it two for two. I'm gonna leave a link down below to this Assassin Reel from Cast King uh, to its Amazon listing. Let me know if you wanna see me do some more reviews for these Cast King Reels and other products. Thanks so much for watching though, guys. I am out of here. Peace.